Hey, then we're gonna go do our, uh, our floater bowler right now. I'm gonna show you how to assemble them. I just made my marshmallow mixture so it's still warm and liquidy. And I greased and dusted my little silicone baking cups here with um, a powdered sugar. And what we wanna do, I like to use my ice cream scoop because it makes it easier to make equal portions. Just gonna scoop some marshmallow in to each of these little cups. And you want it to be liquidy still because that way um, it will run into all the little nooks and crannies. And you can use any little silicone baking cups. Um, there's all kinds of shapes and shapes available. Just make sure that the cookies that you're gonna put on top fit the uh, baking cup. So you wanna make sure when you're making your marshmallow that you have everything else ready to go so you can work quickly so your marshmallow doesn't set before you're ready. So each have marshmallow in them. Now I'm gonna put the jam in. So this is a cardamom and cinnamon marshmallow and I like to use a blueberry raspberry jam. And I just use my little spoon to make an indentation in there and scoop a little bit of jam in the middle. And because your marshmallow is still liquidy, it should kind of sink in there a little bit. There we go. And again, we're trying to work quickly. It's about a teaspoon, by the way. We're trying to work quickly so that everything is ready to seal off before the marshmallow sets. Now we put our little cookies on top. There we go, four cookies on top. And then we just wait. We wait for, um, after about an hour, you should be able to take them out of the molds, but you can leave them for longer. And then they're ready for dipping in chocolate. Okay, we're now gonna dip our Floater Bowler in some chocolate. So I tempered this chocolate here. It's about 200 grams of chocolate, which is more than you'll need, but whatever you have left over, you can always pour in a little um, resealable baggie and use next time. Problem with having only a few things to dip is you have a pretty shallow amount of chocolate. You could put it in a deeper bowl or you could melt more chocolate, but I'll show you how to do this. Here's my floater bowler. I took them out of the molds. What I want to do is dip it in the chocolate and just grip the cookie with my fingernails. And I'm going to roll, kind of roll it around in the chocolate, trying to cover all sides of the marshmallow. I'm going to shake it a bit and we'll put it down so it can dry. Uh, we're going to put some garnish on while the chocolate is still soft. So I'm going to put this because this, um, Floater bowler are uh, filled with raspberry and blueberry jam. I'm gonna put a freeze-dried raspberry on top and a couple of freeze-dried blueberries just to dress it up. So again, you wanna grip the cookie base as well as you can. This my, my cookies sank into my marshmallow a little bit. With your fingers, dip it in the chocolate. And what I forgot to mention, by the way, I've put my melted chocolate um, in a bowl of water warm water. The water is about um, about the temperature that we want it to temper at, um, just to keep it in temper a little bit longer. So here we go, we've got our chocolate on there. And we put raspberry on there. And the chocolate will run off a little bit, that's fine. I had to patch my floatable a little bit, so they're a little messy on top, so putting the Zillow garnishes on disguises that. So when this is set, it'll take a little while for the chocolate to um, harden then you can just take it off the uh, off the countertop. You might want to clean up the edge a little bit and then they're ready to go.